The food truck industry is heating up in Kansas City. Nationally, mobile food vending generates $650 million a year. However, city ordinances can complicate the booming business. New at 6, 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan found out about a class that introduces new business owners to the food truck world. Woo! Now we're cooking. Jazzy B's food truck serves up what owner Brandon Simpson calls barbecue fusion. You have the brisket tacos. You have smoked chicken, smoked fried chicken wings. Sometimes you'll see uh, pulled pork egg rolls. Simpson started his mobile kitchen four years ago, but he's faced a lot of hurdles. There's a lot of different permits and, and different uh, holes through the city, and it's hard to find that online, and it's hard to know if you're doing the right thing. That's why he started a six-week course to help other prospective food truck owners. Um, people wanting to build a truck. Where do I go? How do I make money? In Kansas City, food trucks are restricted from operating in certain parts of the city. They can't park on the plaza or near the Sprint Center. Sydney Ordinance cites security precautions near government buildings and issues with blocking established restaurants. There's a lot of trucks that go out of business very quickly because they don't understand some of the rules and regulations. Simpson holds the class weekly at the Raytown Mid-Continental Library. The next one is Thursday at 6.30 p.m. He hopes to help other startups because it's more than just serving up good food. Blown away just because uh, they didn't know how much behind the scenes work that goes on. The class will conclude with a competition here at the Roastery on June 5th. People can buy tickets to attend and help decide who will be the 2015 KC Food Truck Rookie of the Year. For more information, you can head to our website at KSHB.com. In Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.